Oh, it also on their prevents bag. them from getting out the messages they want to get out. Yep, no doubt about it. Uh, Vikings have seven in the NFL Network's top 100. Yep. Um, so Everson Griffin, the latest, and I think last, they still have to count down from one to ten yet. That's their big off season thing. But you've got Griffin at 19th, which, you know, given the fact that he was dealing with plantar fasciitis for the whole second half of the season, that uh, it, it surprised me that he was that high. I, you know, talent wise, I think he deserves to be there, but he just he wasn't quite the same player in the second half of the season that he was early on. Um, and so, taking it from the highest or the I don't know if you say do you say highest ranked when you're talking like out of one to one hundred, one hundred's the highest rank? Probably not. No. So was, just counting it down from yeah. hundred. Kirk Cousins was ninety fourth. Linval Joseph eighty uh, third. Stefan Diggs, 65th. Rhodes was 55th. Uh, Harrison Smith, 46th, which that one surprised me. I thought he'd be a lot higher. Yeah. Maybe, uh, they, maybe they'll watch the NFC Championship game. Well, yeah. Well, actually, I think they vote on this stuff before it gets okay, to that I point. was wondering. I, I think that. it is late season where you see uh, you know some people from the PR staff handing out mm-hmm. ballots and that to the players. And then uh, Adam Thielen, 36th, and finished off with Griffin. It is fascinating to see Thielen that high. Because, yeah. it, you know, we are so – we're so used to using the word underrated with him. Yep. And now – He's not He's not underrated. No. If you're 36, you ain't underrated. Right. And I, I think everybody caught on to him at least last year, maybe the year before they started to. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think around the league they look at his route running and go – Wow, that that guy really sets people up well for the secondary move. Uh, tell me how training camp is going to work at the TCO facility out here this summer. It's going to be really interesting to me because they are capping it off at 5,000 uh, fans per day. Um, and now it's a ticketed event, so you can't just basically walk in uh, and find a place in the stands. And... What I like about what they're doing, okay, so first of all, they only have so much room, especially for parking out here. So that is one of the reasons they cap it at 5,000. And frankly, I don't think they're really 100% sure on what to expect being closer to the Twin Cities. How much more will that draw? But what I like about what they're doing, of those 5,000 tickets, they're offering them first to season ticket holders. They can go online at the Vikings uh, website and reserve a ticket. But of those 5,000, 1,300 of them are held back for non-season ticket holders. So even though you have to wait almost a week extra, it's like five days after the season ticket holders are in there and can reserve their spot, they're holding those back. And so ultimately, Mankato is generally drawing sixty to 65,000 people per training camp. Even with the cap number, they're expecting around 90,000 this year Mm. out here. So a good increase. Um, Parking is going to be 10 bucks a piece, but you're going to be fairly close. I mean, you're on the same grounds as the Vikings are practicing. You just have to walk across a bridge, and you'll be right at the the stadium or next to the, the practice fields. So hopefully everything with parking will go okay. The traffic and everything will go okay. I like that they are opening it up. Generally, their morning walkthroughs are 1030 to 1130. They're opening up the parking lot at 9 o'clock so people can get there early. And they're staying open till 630, which is about close to an hour and a half after practice is done in the afternoon. So I think they're trying to spread out the traffic when they get there. So I think they're approaching it all the right ways. And I I think people are really going to like the idea of Coming out, seeing the new facility, I mean, you're going from, well, Mankato, you had a little bit more room. But at Winter Park, you had one full-size football field, an 80-yard football field, and a an indoor practice facility that had a corner of the end zone cut off for team meeting room, and the ceiling wasn't high enough to punt. So here you're going to have four full outdoor grass practice fields. Two of them are heated for late season practices. You'll have TCO Stadium that holds uh, 6,500 people and is a turf field, so it won't be as affected by rain the night before. The biggest issue, though, is going to be if the weather is bad. 
And it happens probably on average one time during training camp in Mankato where the weather is bad enough that they have to bring the practice inside the field house. And generally they've let those fans go inside the field house and sit in the stands and watch what is one of the most boring practices you can get. <laughs> An indoor practice in the field house. Yeah. It's it's almost nonsensical that people would want to go in for that. But here, they don't have the stadium seating inside their practice facility. So if there is bad weather and it moves inside, fans will not be allowed inside, but the Vikings are going to refund. If you bought a reserve seat, which there are a 1,000 of them are reserve seats, $20 a ticket, or you know paid for parking, 10 bucks there, they will reimburse you for that. So you know they're saying, hey, if the weather's bad, we'll just make good on it and Hopefully you can come back another day. He's Tim Yotter, publisher of Viking Update. He's going to give his final thought on anything in the world he cares to comment on <laughs> after I thank uh, Twill in the Dining Galleria. Again, check out the website, twillmn.com, for all of their, their products. I've bought Barber shirts, Johnny O shirts, Peter Millar stuff. Uh, yeah, and and, and just, I say this for Tim's enjoyment, underwear. He, he always blushes when I say that, but it's true. Uh, thanks to Tony Hoagland, your State Farm agent, agent in Champlin. You can Google him at H-O-A-G-L-U-N-D. And again, download if you can before you listen, and check out all the shows at TalkNorth.com, and email me if you want to advertise with the, the program or the network. Final thought, Tim. Uh, if you are planning on coming to training camp, plan ahead. Um, now, we are recording this on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So season ticket holders... 9 a.m. Thursday, tomorrow, is when you can start uh, reserving your tickets. Um, and if you are not a season ticket holder, it's June 25th at 9 a.m. that you can go on the Vikings website. So it's vikings.com backslash training camp where you go to reserve those tickets. Because if you do not get a ticket, they are not allowing any walk-up sales, and it is all being done digitally. So... Have your smartphone ready to show your ticket or your parking pass. Basically, it's, uh, you know, paper tickets are going by the way of the dinosaur. So <laughs> it's just the way things are moving. I'd be okay with that if my phone held any charge. <laughs> that is true. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to Bring do. a charger. Yeah.